Hey guys, this is Minnesota Gallifrey, and I'm back to do my review on The Witch's Familiar. This is the second part of the two-part series opener. Okay, so we start off with Clara upside down, tied to a rope. In the last episode, we thought they were exterminated, but knowing the master, she always, he always escapes. And we see Clara tied up, and Missy's trying to explain to her how they escaped. And thinking like the doctor, they show this montage you see the fourth doctor and the first doctor like just by a glimpse of this scene and it was in black and white explaining how the doctor travels uh, from a sticky situation in a split second and that is a short explanation to how Missy survived Death in Heaven which I thought was cool and didn't take up a lot of time and a great way to start this episode and what's up with Missy's pointy sharp stick um, she has a knife what's the point of the stick Oh, why should I care? She's the master! She can have whatever she wants. Moving on to the doctor, he was last seen in Davros's sick bay room area, and he's still there. And what I love about this episode is we get some great uh, talks between the doctor and Davros. For instance, they talk about the time war, and the doctor explains to him, No, I've saved my people. They're trapped. I may, may never know where they are, but they are safe, or he hopes so. And Davros really, I don't know if he was really being like, trying to be this way, but the fact of he really felt sorry for the doctor and said, don't lose your people ever again. Whether that was just the hoax to the part that I'll talk about a bit later, I don't know. But still, I wonder, does Davros still have some compassion for what happened to his race, and does he feel for other races such as the Doctor's race of the Time Lord? Moving on to Missy and Clara in the caves. Now, I was warned ahead of time, watch out for the caves, and I kind of thought, hmm, is it anything to do with, like, classic Scarrow and they remember they're traveling through the back way of the caves? But no, these weren't the caves, these were the sewers, the Dalek sewers. and. I thought to myself ahead of time too, the Daleks don't really produce any waste, do they? So I kind of thought, would it be the Mutos that live down there? But no, it is the Daleks. Um, not like the Daleks in the metal casings, like the actual blob tentacle Dalek. Um, they're all like turned into slush goo type of mixture on the cave walls. And it's interesting enough that Missy said that the Daleks can't die. They are biologically designed to never die. And that's what the that's what Davros is all about. He always survives. He never dies. So I can kind of see where the connection is with there. I thought it very cool. What happens to the Daleks after they're out of their casings? Well, they <laughs> go down the sewers and end up on the walls as some gooey sewage. Kind of creepy kind of disgusting, but now we have some more Dalek history. Moving back to the Doctor, uh, the Doctor and Davros are having a long, dramatic, epic uh, conversation, which I thought, I was thinking to myself, man, this is really deep, really good, and I just love the dialogue between each other. I have to give props to Julian Bleach because amazing performance as Davros. He's up there with Terry Malloy, but really really great job you actually convinced me to feel sorry for Davros in the fact of he was dying and he actually has eyes he actually opened his eyes and for all these years we thought Davros never had eyes and that's what that blue eyes for but it looks to me that Davros can't really use his real eyes I mean they work not as much as his blue eye but I thought that was very cool so Missy catches a Dalek by uh, holding Clara hostage, which I thought that was kind of funny, and then her using her American accent. Her using her American accent was hilarious when she was punching holes in the Dalek with some... With, she got this ring. It was very interesting. She said the doctor gave it to her when she had her daughter, and I was thinking to myself, oh, so the master has a daughter. That's quite interesting. Now I want to talk about one of my favorite scenes in this episode is the fact of the Daleks uh, get this warning message on their screen from, you know, the inside of the Dalek control and it's uh, Davros is leading the sick bay, help! And Davros is talking, the doctor is escaping and I thought 
What's the doctor doing? Is he pushing Davros? Sort of like uh, what Tom Baker did? But no, it's actually he told Davros to get out of the chair. He literally picked him up, put him on the ground, and then was riding in Davros' chair. Now that is something I never thought I would see on Doctor Who. I'm glad I have because Peter Capaldi, you really pulled that off. Now as Missy is trapped a Dalek, uh, she makes Clara go inside the Dalek to get them back into the Scarrow City as a prisoner. She takes Missy into Scarrow as a Dalek. Um, it is very weird because every time that Clara says, My name is Clara Oswald, the Dalek responds in the voice of, I am a Dalek, I am a Dalek. And that's because the way the Daleks are set up, like there's a scene where Missy says, uh, Exterminate just helps them reload the gun. Like any emotion can set off Exterminate, which is very weird. So it makes me wonder, are all Daleks that evil? Or is it just the machine that's making them like that? Long story short, the Doctor wants to help Davros because he seems to be very ill and he literally just shakes his wrist and gives him some regeneration energy. But if you touch these cords, Davros said these cords had the heartbeat of every Dalek, mass genocide. He touches the cords just to give the Daleks, you know, a bit of boost and Davros a bit of boost. But Davros can't be good, can he? Well, no, as soon as the Doctor touches the cord, literally shocks me, Davros starts laughing and I was like, oh no, what's going on? I literally thought Davros was dying. That's why I'm giving big props to Julian Bleach. Amazing performance. It was great. I loved it. So anyways, it goes along with the Daleks have Time Lord energy kind of renewing themselves a bit. And that's, they're part Time Lord, part Dalek. Now you may be wondering, what do the sewer Daleks have to do with this? Well, um, the sewer Daleks, literally, the sludge started pouring through the Scarrow City to get into those casings. They wanted to be renewed too. So you literally see sludge coming out of the floor, destroying the whole Scarrow. And it's it's kind of like a, oh, the Doctor had this planned ahead of time, but he let it play out. So we end the episode with uh, a Dalek saying mercy. And a Dalek's never said mercy before, but yes, it had to uh, Professor Riversong it said mercy so the doctor is wondering where did that come from and something must have changed so he literally goes back to the battlefield where we might meet a young Davros played by Joey Price and remember we saw the cliffhanger where the doctor says exterminate um, he doesn't actually kill Davros he kills the hand mines and walks him home and talks about mercy and so literally, the Doctor put some mercy into the Daleks, which is very cool and a good ending, and I can't wait to see next week's episode. I'm going to rate this one a 9.5 out of 10, but part one was a 10 out of 10, and both parts were equally great. They both were different in speeds, and they just made a perfect two-parter. I can't wait to see what's coming up next, and literally great start to the season. I really can't complain about anything. I don't know why I would need to because it's just that great. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave some comments down below, and stay tuned for a new podcast I'm starting. It will be on iTunes with some of my friends, so stay tuned.